In one of my videos I said already that for a while I've been thinking about rewatching all The Sims 2 trailers and compare them with The Sims 4 trailers, so basically that's what we are going to do here with a small change that I will only compare the trailers of the packs that are very similar in the two games. Hey guys, I'm Chloe and welcome back to Cozy Pixels. Just a disclaimer, these are my own subjective opinions, please don't hate me for them. I am more than happy to discuss these. I do these opinion videos because I don't really have anyone to talk about these things so I hope you guys don't mind if we don't agree on something. So let's start with The Sims 2 official trailer from 13 years ago. I mean that's when it was uploaded. Glorious uh, 240p? <laughs> okay. I don't know if I should stop the trailer when I want to say something or should we just uh, go through it and talk about it at the end. Experience the college lifestyle. <laughs> These clothes. Earn a degree to unlock new careers. <laughs> and like the Simlish song. New college town. Oops, sorry. I, I have to watch the trailer. Yeah, we could buy cell phones. That was the first. Campfires. <laughs> Plastic surgery. I really love this and way back when I used this to make over townies all the time. Become the big sim on campus. I never once managed to do that. Okay, there is two things that I want to point out as kind of unrealistic. Because, yeah, this part. This part make it seem that we have graduation parties look like this. But it's not the case. And these are just sims dressed up as graduation gowns and someone is using that career reward. I would really love if there would be an option to have a graduation party like this, but when you actually throw a graduation party in the university expansion, only the sims show up in their graduation gowns and basically it's just regular party, so nothing really extraordinary about that. And um, one thing which is... I. I wouldn't say you can't do this in the game, but it makes it look like we have bands and like organized bands in the expansion and that's not the thing. So they are just using the objects separately. But I mean, you can do that in the game, so I wouldn't really say it's like that big of a bummer. And now let's go to Discover University. Also, I want to say that I haven't really played with this one yet, so I can't really point out the inaccuracies. But I can give my thoughts, maybe, if it's a good trailer or not. Um, with The Sims 2 trailers, the expansion trailers, you will see that all of them is from game footage. And nothing is rendered in them, so I really wonder how this will look like. Okay, so far it seems... The music is not in Simlish in the trailer? What kind of heresy is that? Dang. Okay. The English song is really throwing me off. Okay. Yeah, these can happen in the game. Okay, so far. Nothing really unrealistic, I would say. Okay, there are no. Not so. No. Okay. This is not. Okay, so the, I have to say the trailer looks super fun and like I think that's what the trailer has to do, like it really 
the music, the settings, it really hypes me up about this game. But of course, I know that uh, there's a lot of set dressing in these. And for example, when there are a lot of sims at the same place, it's not looking like that in the game because the AI is a bit wonky. And like, um, for example, when I go somewhere in the Sims 4, all my Sims gather up in the same place and they just don't do anything. They are just at the same place and I don't know why. But it's a really nice trailer, I have to say. I think it's not the Sims 2 trailer's fault that it's not this hype, but I think back then it wasn't uh, that popular maybe or like widespread to make game trailers like movie trailers. But maybe I am wrong, but I would say that results of a different time in gaming. Okay, yeah, she beat it. No graduation parties. Once again, this is not real. Okay, I have to say that the English lyrics is a huge bummer for me, like, why? Why do we have English lyrics in a Sims trailer? I mean, we have Simlish songs in the game, don't we? Why can't they just use one in the trailer? The other thing that graduation parties are still not a thing. And that is... I don't know why is it so hard to code graduation parties into university packs? But this part where they throw their hats... Party! It's not real because they just go in, as far as I know, they're just going to rabbit hole and that's their graduation party. For example, in this scene, this obviously can happen because it's a two sim interaction object, but not many sims react to it in the real game. And that's, I would say, that's the most unrealistic thing in this trailer that. It feels very lively and very involved, like everyone is so involved with the world around them, which is not really the case in the real game. Like, I know that this trailer really makes me want to play this expansion because it looks super fun, but I also know that in the game it's not that fun and it can get really boring. And for example, the bicycle is a super nice idea, but it takes hours, literal hours, for your sim to get from A to B. And that's not that fun. I have to say, this is a much nicer trailer, but I do feel that it's a bit misleading and it's not misleading on purpose, I would say. Like, this one is not misleading on purpose. The Get Famous one, I would say that is misleading on purpose because it shows so many things that are absolutely not in the game, not even remotely in the game. I, I would say in this one, we have everything in the game but um, the things we see here doesn't happen naturally. And I think in the Sims 2 trailers, most of the things can happen naturally that you could see there. So for example, m multiple Sims learning at the same, same space. So this can happen because Sims do other things around you. And um, of course, I wouldn't say normally there are so many sims on one lot in the sims 2. So I would say that's a bit, bit misleading, but not that much I wouldn't say, because you can see other sims on community lots and they just go on about their days. But obviously this was made with the in-game movie maker. So no flashy camera angles and stuff like that. So it's a much more basic trailer I would say, but it shows what you have to expect in the game. And I really appreciate that. So no misleading, flashy animations, graphics or something like that. Obviously, I'm a li little bit biased. I have to say, overall, I enjoyed The Sims 4 trailer more. Now, for Seasons. Here we go, Seasons official trailer. <laughs> the nostalgia. <gasps> Suzui! It sounds like all I want for Christmas. Enjoy all four seasons. Delight in a winter wonderland. Oh yeah, and I have to I have to mention this because I don't know how, but I didn't know this that every season in the Sims 2 seasons gives a different boost to your Sims. And in winter, 
you can increase your relations with your family faster. Which I didn't know at all. And it's so cool. Yes, we can... We can skate. We can freeze to death, which I had experiences very recently. And I think in spring, the romantic interactions get a boost, and that's so cool. And obviously it introduced fishing and gardening, which I think is very hard in The Sims 2. I don't know about the other games, but gardening in The Sims 2 is hard. Yes, summer. What does summer boost? Did I miss that? Oh no, the friends, uh, the friendly relationships. Okay. I got it, I got it, because it says with friends. And fall. <laughs> yeah. I really loved this when it first came out, but nowadays I don't really clear up my leaves anymore. Harvest fruits and veggies. Cute. Yeah, wishing well. So basically the new things introduced with this is gardening, fishing, obviously seasons. Every season brings a different boost. But I have to... The snow has depth. There is actual deep snow in the game. And I love that. Oh yeah, and the skating and the roller skating rink. I really love those items. So, I like this trailer better than the University trailer for The Sims 2. And obviously this is a newer pack because University was the first pack released for The Sims 2. I like it because the atmosphere is much nicer. I don't know, the music. I think it's the season's theme from The Sims 2. I really like it. And I like how they say, not imply what you can get from the pack. But yeah, it's not flashy, it just says what you have to expect and it sets the mood perfectly, I think. I, I really like this. Seasons is one of my favorite packs, I would say, because I love snow in this game so much. Okay, I am happy with this one, I really like it. Let's go to The Sims 4 Seasons. Okay, finally we have Simlish. Okay, activities during all. <laughs> oh yeah, I love this feature in The Sims 4. I really wish we would have something like this in The Sims 2 where you can decorate your house according to the season. Ah, oh, I really... Ah, oh. Christmas decoration. Okay, so here Christmas came with seasons, and I would say that's a uh, positive. Okay, uh, I actually have experience with this pack, and let me just tell you that New Year's parties doesn't look like this at all. New Year's parties, the Sims just stand in one little pile of Sim, and they shout, "Yeah, Shubi!" and they do it for hours, like if you start the countdown at 10 p.m., they do it for two hours. Shuby! Shuby! And... <laughs> Ugh! Okay, yeah, Thanksgiving. Or Turkey Day, or how they call it. Bees, okay. No depth in the snow. <laughs> Yeah, we have weather control in The Sims 2 as well, but it was not shown in this trailer. Nice. Okay, this one was a boring one, I don't know. I don't know, It was it not? I feel like I'm being too judgy with these. So please do let me know if my opinion is wrong, because I'm pretty sure some of you will get angry at me. Also, they don't gather around like this. If you have a skating rink, probably no one uses it anyway, but even more or less likely that people gather around it to cheer on your superstar skating sim. But I appreciate the idea. So once again, I would say this is a super nice trailer. It looks 
awesome. The world and the game and the aesthetics is obviously improved a lot since Sims 2, so it's a gorgeous game. It's much easier to make a nice trailer with it, I would say. I really like this shot and I really wish that my world in The Sims 4 would be this lively, but unfortunately, that's not the case. I have to say from a cinematography standpoint, obviously The Sims 4 trailer is nicer because it includes nicer shots. As I said, the aesthetic of the game is, has improved a lot since The Sims 2. So obviously it looks nicer. I like the vibe of it, but I would say that this one was a bit boring compared to The Sims 2 seasons trailers. Also, I kind of miss the tell me what can I expect in this pack style of The Sims 2, because there you see the text, you can see what does that mean? what you see on the screen, but here you don't really see it. I mean, I'm not dumb, obviously. I understand that you can decorate your house, you have weather control and stuff like that. But also, at the same time, it implies a lot of other things that may be not their intention to imply. So I would say it would help them a lot if they would bring back the texts to focus on the things they actually want to show and not confuse people with other things in the background. Seems too pets. This is gonna be a long video, I would say. I don't know, do I talk too much? Seems too pets. I don't know why, but people did, didn't really like the Seems too pets, as far as I know. Okay, yeah. You can create doggos. You can create kettles. I really like the Sims 2 main theme, so I appreciate this music. Okay, so far everything seems about right. <laughs> yes. I don't know, I really like the Sims 2 pet. Okay, yeah, actually I re-watched this a few days ago. I mean a few weeks ago, probably. And this object, I was like, what is that? Never saw it, and I didn't realize it's a pre-order gift. So I don't know if it's fair to include that in a trailer. Aww. So cute. You can see the cats are nicer in this one as well. Mm, yes. <laughs> The kid grew up with the dog. Okay. Pretty realistic, I would say. Nintendo GameCube. Amazing. Okay, so the rest of the trailer is just a trailer for other platforms? Yes, okay. So, pretty realistic trailer. I didn't find anything that was not in the pack, actually. One thing I was, uh, I'm not sure about now is that should have they include that you can't control your pets or not? Because I think in The Sims 1 you couldn't control them either, so in The Sims 2 it wasn't really an expectation to control your pet, as far as I remember, but in like... 17 years ret retrospect it's kind of hard to say but other than that just as the others it was a nice trailer i would say the editing was much nicer the atmosphere was nice yeah it showed what i wanted to see what can i do in this pack cats and dogs obviously it doesn't it's not called pets because you can only have cats and dogs and that's a bummer but at least they are open about it and they didn't call it pets But the pets are so cute in this one. Okay, once again, English lyrics. Why? You can take them to the vet. That's a nice feature. Oh no! What? The English lyrics threw me off so much. Okay, so what is this? Are these like their traits? Oh 
corgis. I wish we would have corgis in The Sims 2. We don't have. You, they are one of my favorite dog breeds. I really like this song though, but I wish it would be in Simlish. Yeah, and the new world. Okay, one thing I think they would have really gained from adding text to this one because it really confused me. Toddlers, yeah, okay, so they grew up together. And what happened here? Okay, so this doggo died. But they had another one for the kid. Okay. And now what is this? Is Are these their traits? This is one asshole cat, I have to say. <laughs> is that, he's not interested in anything. And one thing which uh, I can't decide if it's a pro or a con, but this seems for thrillers focus so much on storytelling that I can really get lost in what the pack actually offers. Like, with this one, I have no idea what this pack offers. <laughs> so far, I can only pinpoint that they offer dogs. They offer cats. I guess cats can be assholes. Based on the trailer, dogs can wear cute clothes. We can take them to the vet. That's one thing. But other than that, my... So can I send them to work? Because in The Sims 2, you could get jobs for your pets. Can I train them? I guess... That show that I can train skills to them? Um, can I control them? Because in The Sims 3, I could control them. And here, you can't control them. I think that's something that you want to include in your trailer. Or I don't know, but I remember it was a huge thing when people find out that you couldn't... And, and not only you can't control them, you can't even see anything about them. I, I didn't like this one. The music was nice, the pets are super cute, so what else to say? But I think this was a bad trailer. It, it wasn't really clear to me what the heck was going on. And I don't know about you, uh, I just want to say, please don't hate me for my opinions. These are very subjective opinions, obviously. I just, um, I don't really have anyone to talk about these other than you guys, so I hope you don't mind. So, seems to apartment life. This is actually in 16-9 aspect ratio. What a world to live in. Susul! <laughs> this came out in 2008. Move your sims out of the suburbs. I remember it was such a huge thing. I just have to say it because all my life I lived as a kid in flats. And in The Sims, I could only live in suburban family house. And I was like, what the heck is this? And when Apartment Life came out, I was so happy. Again, way too many Sims in one shot. Find the right apartment. <laughs> the Murphy bed. Classic. Yes, your neighborhoods can definitely be way too loud in The Sims 2. You can have roommates. But I don't think they ever invite over other Sims. I'm not sure. That eye roll animation. Amazing. Yeah, you can throw out your roommates. Fancy apartment. <laughs> Meet your neighbors and visit them. Yeah, that was the first one. Like, you can visit your neighbors in apartments. Which you couldn't do before. Reputation system was included here. Okay. And like, uh, spiral stairs. Spiral stairs were included in this one. And also, do they show witches in the trailer? They don't even show the witches, because, but witches were included in this one. Let me see. No! Okay, that's interesting. 
And also, they didn't show the plant sims in Seasons. But I guess they didn't show it in The Sims 4 either. Okay, so I don't have anything new to say about this, to be honest. It's a nice trailer, nicely edited. The only thing, it, there is way too many sims doing their stuff here, which is not really a thing by default. You can make it a thing, obviously, with mods, but by default it wasn't really a thing. And I'm not sure if your roommates can invite their partners over. I love this animation, it's so cute. But let's go on to City Living. There are multiple trailers for this one. Okay, let's go. Too many sims in one shot going on about their day. Way too many. You can protest. Yeah, okay. Once again, what's up with the English lyrics? <laughs> okay, yeah, loud neighborhoods. Okay. The thing is with English lyrics in Sims trailers that sometimes you hear the actual lyrics and like... Wait. Yeah, it was this part. I mean, I don't mind these lyrics in a regular pop song, but like, it's the Sims trailer. Why are we talking about someone's back against the wall, please? Okay, festivals. Yeah, they are actually nice addition to the game. I really like those. <laughs> no way. I kind of pinpointed down what, what's my issue with these trailers. They are more like a music video and not like a game trailer. It's, I have to watch these again and again to like actually take in what it, what's in it for me, I would say. I don't know. The English lyrics really throw me off. Obviously, this is a pretty trailer. I, I'm not as big of a fan of it as the university one. I think the university one was the best. These are not that great, the rest of them. I, I don't really like them, to be honest. Also because of the English lyrics, like it's a Sims game, they have their own language included. I think I can summarize this video like by two sentences. Sims 2 is an odd game, the trailers are not that pretty, but very straightforward and very accurate. Sims 4, new game, pretty trailers, not really accurate, way too much sad dressing, way too many sims at one place which don't happen at the game. There you go. This is my video in two minutes. I hope you guys... <laughs> I hope you guys made it this far. I don't know, did, did you like this? Do you like these videos where I just share my thoughts and opinions? I don't know, probably a lot of you don't agree with me. And I'm a bit afraid that you will be mad at me for some reason or something like that. Like, I don't want you guys to be mad at me. It's, it's really just my subjective opinion. And I thought it would be interesting also for myself to look at these and like kind of figure out what I, don't what I don't really like about these. So let me know in the comments what are your thoughts. If this is your first video you see here and you haven't subscribed already, you might as well do it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!